In this video, we will learn how to approximate the mean of a dataset given a histogram. Weight Away, a company that sells weight loss plans, often advertises the effectiveness of its plans by highlighting the stories of a few clients who have lost extraordinary amounts of weight. To get a better indication of the general effectiveness of the plans, we asked Wait Away to send us information about typical clients. Wait Away mailed us a brochure with the following histogram, which displays the weight loss in pounds over the past month for 48 Wait Away clients. Note that a negative value for weight loss represents a weight gain. Based on the histogram, estimate the mean weight loss in pounds for this sample of weight away clients. Carry your intermediate computations to at least four decimal places and round your answer to at least one decimal place. If we were given 48 data elements describing 48 clients weight loss, we could typically just add those values and divide by 48 to find the mean. But our data is not provided to us in a list form. It's given to us in the form of a histogram where our data elements have been combined already into classes. So the best way for me to find the mean is to approximate it based on those classes that I see. So, for example, if I look at the first class, the weight loss is anywhere between negative 10 and 0. In other words, there are 7 people who actually gained weight. And uh, the midpoint will be representative for all 7 data elements in this class. Um, the next class, between 0 and 10, there are again 7 data elements. And the midpoint will be representing all 7 data elements approximately. So we need, first of all, identify our midpoints for each class. Negative 5, 5, 15, 25, 35, 45. Now we're going to multiply the midpoint as a representative or a typical element in, the, in each class by the frequency of elements in each class. When we're done with those products, we add them up and divide by 48. Therefore, X bar or sample mean is approximately equal to the midpoint representing the first class times the frequency in the first class plus midpoint representing the next class times the frequency of the next class and so on and so forth. And then when you're done, you divide that by 48 elements in the data set and you find your sample mean to be approximately equal to 17.9 when I'm rounding this to one decimal place at least as a request. You could have rounded it to more decimal places if you want to. It means that on average, within this sample of 48 clients, people lost 17.9 pounds.